But even at the scales that I've operated at, there was there was never a an intentional decision of someone's going to start out today and we're going to write this in a language and framework that are 20 years old. So this stuff has always been extant for a while. It is it has grown roots. It has worked its way into business processes and a bunch of things have weird dependencies in some cases on bugs. People are not uh, declining to modernize software stacks because they haven't heard that there's a new version out. It's because this stuff is painfully hard because people and organizations that they build are painfully hard. Well, first I would start and hopefully with a, a sympathetic viewpoint for the developer, which is like, pretend I haven't written any software yet. And I'm actually starting from today. And I look at all the latest available things and I make the perfectly optimal choices for every part of my tech stack today. And I, I write this thing completely clean. Six months from now, those are no longer the optimal choice. That's right. And and always will be. Future you will be the, pet, the next past you. So it's it's there's never an opportunity where we can say we're making the optimal choice and that optimal choice will continue to be right going forward. So uh, I think that paired with one other fact, which is just that the the tools available to us have essentially industrial, industrialized software production to the point where we can write net new software super quickly using off the shelf third party open source components. We're expected to because you have to ship ship fast. And you know, then what do you do when that stuff evolves at its own pace? So nobody's really been good at it. 